What's wrong, little man? They call me a scared rabbit. Let them say whatever they want. People used to say a lot of nasty things about me. Oh, this guy's a lunatic. Oh, look at that psycho. He's going to get us all killed. The tone of the script is so uniquely Taika. Um, you know, it's it has that incredible balance of poignancy and then, like, absurdity. Um, you know, the audience has this experience where they're total jovial and, like, laughing at this slapstick comedy, and then you're just hit with something that's so profound and disturbing. Taika would have to find that tone in the editing room, really, and we were just going to give him as much as we could to arm him, you know, and so play a scene a little more chilling or a little more broad, you know, and just give him some flavors to have. And uh, I certainly was surprised when I saw the finished thing how well he had, you know, jugg juggled that tone. And that, you know, you start off laughing, and by the end, I think, you know, I certainly, me, even as someone who read the script, I was getting very emotional and choked up. As a filmmaker, I do want to make things that are meaningful and important, and I think all of my films do have some sort of social message or an emotionality to them that uh, I feel makes them important. And yeah, even though some would say, well, the comedies. Comedies are the most important things. They're the best films in the world. You're growing up too fast. Ten-year-olds shouldn't be celebrating war and talking politics. The hardest thing was really finding the kids, right? You've got to, you know, we, we hunted, uh, you know, we, got, we did this big talent scout thing with, you know, through different countries and for about four months we looked for you know, the perfect Jojo. Eventually found Roman and Thomason I'd sort of known from New Zealand. She's incredible. She's incredible in everything she's in. So once I had them then I felt really comfortable with you know, how the rest of the casting could go because I was, you know, as long as I had those kids and it was that was solid. Um, Scarlett was, um, Chris Hemsworth actually told her about the script and so she read it um, based on his recommendation. And, they wanted to do it, which is great, thanks Chris. And then the rest all fell into place pretty easily. For me, they're, they're, it's rare that you read a script that, that is this ambitious. And, you know, everyone gets to do something fun and characterful and, and have their little moment, um, you know, which is, an, you know, any kind of actor wants their little moment in the sun. But also, um, you know, how often are you reading a script which has an imaginary Hitler in it? You know, it's, it's, it's nice to be part of something which is that audacious and, and brave and, still relevant. If I tell on you, you'll be in big trouble. They'll never win. Love is the strongest thing in the world. I made sure to not, actually not watch the producers and not watch Life is Beautiful and not watch um, To Be or Not To Be. And I didn't want to watch all of these films because I didn't want the influence, I guess, to, to come to leak into my film. I wanted this to be a standalone thing that felt like its own thing. I would be lying if I said I didn't rewatch Raiders of the Lost Ark um, and uh, did watch the um, the sort of Gestapo officer in that. There's a show called The Fast Show, and uh, there's a, there's a there's a sort of a, a sort of guy who owns the house, and then he has his kind of guard, his gatekeeper, and there's a there's a dynamic there which I think is quite similar to to ours. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. In a way, which yeah. I kind of took inspiration from. <laughs> oh, Ray Fiennes, Ray Fiennes and Schindler's List, obviously. I think weirdly, I watched Life Is Beautiful as research for another film that I did a couple weeks ago and I, and I was watching it. I was watching it in Toronto preparing for this film going, why did I not watch this before? <laughs> like, how did I miss this? I, I, watched, um, <clears throat> I watched Empire of the Sun. Oh, yeah. The other day I met Christian Bale and my dog. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I was shaking it. You, you were there. You were there. I was shaking his hand like... And then Matt Damon came and I was like... Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>